Oh, the things that we do to create quality entertainment. My poor cords that are being destroyed for the sake of this video. But it must be done. Science waits for no man. So let's go ahead and make ourselves a safe way to test some electricity today. Because I have a hypothesis that I need to test. And this is how we're going to do it. What's going on today is an experiment. Something I've been wanting to test for a while, but I just finally got the equipment. I got my first halfway decent oscilloscope delivered yesterday. I haven't really learned the ins and outs of it yet, but I should do enough to get this video done. But basically, it wasn't that long ago. It was only like maybe a month ago that I, I finally got one of these Delta 3 Pluses installed in the movie theater area of the house to run the TV, the speakers, and all that. And normally, 99% of the time, not a problem. As soon as I ran my solar feed to it for the first time ever, I was running it on the inverter instead of running it on the grid pass through. And I heard a really loud humming noise. And I was like, what in the world? Like my wife can't hear these things, but I have a high sensitivity to like electronic noise. This was a low frequency sound though, like a hum. And I thought it was maybe a defective uh, or just loud inverter on my Delta three, or maybe it was just being pushed so hard. Cause again, it's a big theater setup but the actual demand on the wattage wasn't that high. It was only like 600, 700 watts. When I went and inspected closer, I had to go back behind and look through all of the cords and cables. I found that the humming actually wasn't coming from the Delta. It was coming from my old trip light that I got a long time ago. And this is from the era of, well, I mean, the era still is existing, but this is especially true back in like the nineties and early two thousands people considered you needed power correction for your high-end movie theater stuff. So you bought equipment that could clean up dirty power because there was uh, a myth of grid power being so dirty and you needed to protect your equipment. In my entire life, I have never seen power correction kick in for the grid power that I have. So, you know, take that for what it's worth. If you live somewhere else in the world, that could be a different story. But what I have the hypothesis of is that this kicked in and that humming I heard was actually the power correction and I've never heard it before. And that means that the power coming from the Delta was so dirty that it needed to clean it up. And that's why I'm going to call this video EcoFlow's dirty little secret <laughs> because it might be a dirty power problem. So let's, let's get some things kicked on here. So, oscilloscope two channels I, I wish I had like a big four channel one or something but you know it is what it is what we just made in the garage was just a safe way to test uh, the electricity without making an electrical risk this is what I prefer to use this is a really cool device I use like say for example I'm installing new ceiling lights they're made to hardwire into you know a receptacle they don't plug into the wall so I use this to test those kinds of things where I just need to plug in raw wires, has a built-in fuse, and it doesn't create the connection until you actually close it. So I love that about this. So let's turn the inverter on. And we're already seeing some noise coming through. That is going to give us the full sine wave coming from the unit. And you can see there's some imperfections in here. It's not terrible, but it's definitely not perfect either. So we have some stuff going on in the middle of our sine wave, which, which is not ideal. But that's what that looks like. Now here's where it gets a little bit interesting. I only noticed this thing making a humming noise when we were in a high demand scenario, not when it was just on. Like if it was just TV and not much else, like it didn't make the noise. It was when I think the subwoofers came on and the amps came on. So what I want to do now is start to demand some power from this. I think this will start charging itself in a second. So now we've got our second reading for channel number two and our demand 
So let's find channel 2 on here. And... So look how much more noisy this got. This is both of them coming, one's coming straight out of the unit and one's coming out of the power strip, but the power correction has not kicked in. And you can see how much dirtier this power got. Like now it's starting to look a lot more like a modified sine wave than just a sine wave. This isn't good and it seems to be load dependent. So if I go into the EcoFlow app, Here's what's kind of weird about it. It seems like the higher the load, the cleaner the power got for me. So I'm only drawing 500 watts right now. If I increase this up to uh, 1,000 watts, see how the sine wave is cleaned up? It goes to show that there's definitely some, some, some something going on. The load changes how things work in here. So that's what we're looking at. Let's go take um, a comparison though. Let's, let's unplug. This connection. Look at the difference between the grid in the EcoFlow. The, the grid has just a little bit going on at the crest, but look how smooth those transitions are. That's what it should look like, not like this. So this is showing 100% that this is not creating grid power quality. And funny enough, until I measured it, I assumed that any pure sine wave inverter or generator that I have is going to produce the cleanest, best possible electricity, actually trusting it higher than the grid. And this shows you shouldn't make those assumptions. And the last thing to do real quick is let's go take this. And test another inverter. Let's go test my Victron inverter that I have in the office guarantee well I can't guarantee <laughs> because I haven't tested it but I have a very high suspicion that the Victron is going to produce basically a perfect sign move look at that that is what we want to see that is a pure sine wave that is actually better than grid power coming from the Victron. So there you go, guys. EcoFlow's dirty little secret. 